جی السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی کین سی دیٹ دیر آر نائنٹین پارٹیسپینٹس سو فار اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو پلے جزاکم اللہ سو دیٹ واز اوکے سو دس واز مہرونا تلاوت and uh, by the grace of allah she has recited very well she has recited very well and um, okay First of all, قَالُوا إِنَّا أُرْسِلْنَا إِلَىٰ قَوْمِ مُجْرِمِينَ At this point, where is my hand? It, at this point, it should be إِلَىٰ قَوْمِ مُجْرِمِينَ Because this tanween is assimilating with the next مِمُشَدَّ 
so ila qaumin mujrimin that will be wrong ila qaumin mujrimin assimilation with nasal sound ila qaumin mujrimin and after that this is not a big mistake but this relates to similar sounding letters this ain should not be pronounced like alif or hamza so it will be musawwamatan inda rabbika inda ain which is coming from the middle of throat not from the third part of throat which is uh, the lower part but this is coming from the middle chamber in the rabbika so there should be a difference between hamza sound and ain sound and inshallah ta'ala you have recited very well from the beginning to the end but you have to address this issue again you know every uh, class uh, participant should know that there are certain uh, issues with regards to a letter will be recited with thin sound or thick sound so there are certain letters which always be pronounced with a thick sound and there are some permanent letters which are recited with a thin sound and there are three letters which are variable this kaf is a always permanent thin letter so it will be man kana man kana whenever you want to make a letter when whenever you want to make a letter thin come to a smiling mode as you are smiling and you know that we cannot smile unless we pull our cheeks a little back or make it flat like for example uh, you know our, our face is in a flat position our cheeks are little bit flat and then we can make uh, a letter thin and we are in a smiling mode so man kana not kana man kana when you make your cheeks flat so this is one one of the issue otherwise your recitation is going well well and again fa akhadnahu wa junudahu this one here is wow and this is wow maddiya when i say wow maddiya so wow is a letter and maddiya is a uh, is an attribute as we say that uh, a beautiful weather in english it is called first adjective comes first beautiful or pretty or nice and the noun which has been attributed that is come after and this is the same case when within urdu and other languages but arabic first of all always describes a noun first and the attributes comes after for example if if we say that uh, a very noble person we will say rajulun karim we always use and we have heard many many times rasulun karim messenger karim noble honored so in this case uh wow maddiya means that wow which will act as a elongation which will which will act or uh, uh, act the uh, will will play the role of elongation prolongation wow maddiya in this case wow here is uh, wow with a spoon wow with a spoon and before that there is a noon with dhamma this noon with dhamma will be prolonged because the falling wow maddiya wow maddiya that will be prolonged so it will be junudahu 
So noon will be prolonged about two seconds because of wow maddiya, wow of elongation. Wajunudahu, and after that you are you recited well. Yahape on this point mim with shadda, and you know that there are two letters of uh, permanent nasal sound. Permanent nasal sound means gunna sound. So this is mi mushaddad and uh, another one is noon mushaddad. Fil yam, you have to drag, uh, uh, you have to hold nasal sound in your, uh, you know, uh, nasal sound in your nasal pipe, nose pipe. Fil yam, and after that, again, you recite it very well. There is no issue of prolonging. Uh, Harakat, Fata Kasra Dhamma, no issue. 99% your uh, letters of elongation, Alif Wawya, uh, apart from Junudahu, is fine. Why I have highlighted here Samuda, remember this Sa we covered in our previous uh, Battle School class that this Sa is a thin letter and flow of air comes. And, and tip of tongue is is touching the front top two teeth. And then it is pronounced like a TH sound, like we say, I think, yeah, I thank you. So it will be Samuda. So make a difference between seen sound, Assa, and Assa. And again, Ain should not be mixed with Hamza. And you have to work hard on Ha sound like I uh, I told you about the Ain. So Ain and Ha, they always produce from uh, middle of throat and much uh, practice is needed because uh, this is uh, this is a uh, alien voice uh, or foreign voice or unrecognized voice in Urdu and also in English and many other languages. Ain is a very typical sound uh, we find in Arabic and uh, also uh, Hassan. Uh, in this case, uh, after that, uh, Wahum. Uh, I don't know what uh, what was that, but there was some issue on this one. And after that, this Mun Saad is there. Mun Tasirim. So you have recited, I think, by mistake or quickly, uh, like a Va Mun Tasirim. Remember that a slight change or a change of a letter uh, may definitely makes a difference between uh, in, in the meaning. So when we say muntasirin, it means those who have been helped, those who have been given he help from Allah or from anybody or any, anybody or uh, those people who have been helped or facilitated, they are called muntasirin. When we say, as you said, muntazirin, it will be, uh, there, there will be two meanings. One is that, that uh, they are those people who are waiting, who are, who are in waiting. Okay. So you see that how the, it, it makes difference between the two. So now we come to a new recording, inshallah. And if I can say, Okay, please, uh, you know, when, whenever you enter, uh, please make sure that uh, your camera is uh, off, okay? Uh, and by system, your, your microphone is off and also your video is off, but sometime you can uh, enable by, by mistake. So please make sure that both uh, are uh, shut down. Okay, now we'll move to another recording. In this case, is is Jaziba. I like to. Um, J. <clears throat> First of all, I like to mention to Jaziba that you have sent us again a file with the wrong format. 
so all please there there are two things which you you must remember when we ask you a request a new recording that recording should be renamed with your id number 1 with your id which has been issued to you all and secondly the part for example part 27 point if you are reading ruku number 2 so part 27.02 that will decode that what you are reciting and after that your recording should be ideally in mp3 or mp4a okay so i uh, this time i am able to play but please remember so we we'll start from the beginning
Okay, so you have tried very well, but uh, as you are in level one, so there are certain issues which I like to highlight now. Um, okay, so first of all, um, again, this is you should be mindful and you should practice about the ayin. So ayin uh, should be make it made it make a difference between ayin and hamza sound. And here, level one mistake: that's lakum, not lakum. So when you say lakum, means for you all. When you say lakum, it means not for you all. So remember that it is it will be a short in the lakum, not lakum. Leko. And again here, minhu. This will be a shorter because here on ha there is a dhamma. Minhu, not minhu, because it does not change the meaning, but it does affect the beauty of that letter. Minhu. And again, ain should be properly manifested in gunna and followed by ya. Madhya, ya with uh, prolongation, ya of prolongation. So it would be in the in the gunna and followed by two second prolongation. Minhu again should be shorter. Nazi run and mean with shadda. So assimilation with nasal sound will take place. Nazi run mubin and again kazalika. This kaf is not a thick letter. Not kazalika is Kazalika, as you are smiling in a smiling mode. Kazalika and ma should also be a thin letter, not ma, but it should be ma. Ma. So kazalika ma ma bari thin and long as well. And nir rasulin tanween is missing. Tanween is properly many should be manifested. Nir rasulin and illa. La mushaddad followed by alif was missing here. So you, you recited illa qalu. It should be illa qalu because illa means accept. So alif should be recited well. Sahirun, the mean uh, be manifested. And uh, here, fatawalla anhum, you said wama. So it is fa. Fa means so. Fatawalla anhum fama, not wama, fama, and bimalum on this side, this uh, tanween uh, mean was not uh, properly pronounced. It, uh, you said bimalun, or uh, mean was not anyway properly uh, recited, articulated. So it will be bimalum and wazakkid, and you can see in a, a view in your reco recording that this is not. Wow, this is fa. So wazakir fa inna, not wa inna. Fa inna zikra. And again, wal insa sa should not be elongated because after that there is no alif. So wal insa only one second. And after that, wa ma uridu do short because there is no wow after that. And ayyutimun this noon for is uh, uh, mixing with ya after that, so it will be uridu ayyutimu ayyutimu wa ma uridu ayyutimu. So that will be assimilation with nasal sound. Over razaku, whenever there is a mistake and you recognize a mistake, then you have to repeat the whole word. Uh, nicely from the very beginning. So in this case, it will be huwa razaku, This ra mushaddad followed by za mushaddad. So two mushaddad letters, two hard letters 
uh, have come together in succession so you have to recite together well huwa razzaqu and mithla should be sought not mithla dhanuban mithla mithla lam short fala yasta'jilun ain should be properly articulated and again here min yawmihi mulladhi not mulladhi but it should be kept short so that was a feedback of your recitation. Thank you very much. Now we move to another recitation. And in this case, I uh, will, uh, Brother Abdurrahman. Okay, Jazakumullah. So that was the recording of uh, Brother Abdurrahman of Somalia. Um, mashallah, you have recited very well. Only, uh, you know, there are issues about your more fluent uh, uh, reading with a, a more uh, uh, tune. Um, and after that, there is a vow. Wa muqassirina. This vow was not properly articulated or uh, I was unable to hear that clearly. So ru'usakum wa muqassirina. And uh, after that, this one, bihimul kuffar. Bihimul kuffar, this fa is a, not a thick letter, it's a thin letter. So it will be 
لِيَغِيظَ بِهِمُ الْكُفَّارِ And with regards to level 2, there are uh, certain mistakes, which, but I'm not going to highlight now. But I remember that in class I taught the rule of Kalkala, a, a slight vibration on certain five letters, Qaf, Qa, Ba, Jim, and Dal, when they come with Skoon, with a original Skoon or a conditional Skoon, there will be a slight jerk on that. For example, uh, is uh, here um, like min afar is sujud kalkala, yani slight jerk. And again, shapo ahu, shapo ahu, like that. And similar before that is bil haqo. Bil haqo, this qaf kalkala. So apart from that, you recited very well, and I think that was the previous recitation. Now I like to. Assalamualaikum, my name is Tahir Mustafa, and I am reading Surah Al-Hakas, chapter number two. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Was Urrahad is under a Yeah. 
Tahir, you have recited mashallah very well with a good loud voice your your voice uh, clarity is very nice very fine uh, first of all uh, first of all uh, remember this word is al ahkaf al ahkaf yani this is a surah surah al ahkaf and in the beginning you said that i am going to recite ruku number 2 remember that uh, this was ruku number three not ruku number two because ruku number two is ended here uh, this uh, you can see here this uh, uh, digit this means that ruku number two is ended here let me find out what is happening here who is uh, with okay so Again, this not illa, this is Allah. It was recited illa, but I think by mistake you did that. But it is Wamin Khalfihi Allah. Allah Ta'budu. Azaba Yawmin. Again, you have recited uh, a second time, you rectified your mistake. But when you said first time, you say Ya'umin is a jerk here. There's no jerk here. Adaba yawmin, adaba yawmin, and lita fikana. There is no ayn here, lita fikana, simple. And then, mashallah, you recited without any mistake. Ayn, little, you know, make a difference between Hamza sound and ayn. Ayn should be properly manifested. And here, wa af After that, there is a sign of a pause, so you should uh, take this benefit and say wa af Otherwise, you have to recite after that if you have a long breath. But in this case, because this verse is quite long, so whenever a facility is provided, a stop is provided, we should uh, 
take uh, we should avail that okay so af ida and uh, why i have highlighted this word is kanu it should be in a smiling mode not is a thick kanu but kanu is kanu yani isko aapne halka padhna hai again bihima kanu isko ka na ho kanu little bit uh, in a th thin sound otherwise otherwise you recited very well and the clarity of your sound your voice is quite good and inshallah with the passage of time you will uh, you will improve more okay now i'm going to ask uh, another to pick up another a'udhu billahi minash A'udhu billahi minash shaitan Mashallah, you have recited by the grace of Allah very well uh, as compared to your uh, previous uh, recitations. Um, there are certain issues which I like to highlight and inshallah you will improve more. Um, first of all, here you can find Fiz uh, Zubur. Remember, this is a za and this is a whizzing sound, whistling sound here. So 
you have recited like a dal, which is a soft letter. This is fizzubur uh, az baratun fizzubur fizzubur. And again, sayuzamul jamu. It should be kept short because ain is not. After that, there is no wow. Sayuzamul jamu. And again here, wa amal because this ra mushaddad. And when you make a stop here, this ra should be manifested twice because it has a shadda on that. Adha wa amal. Wa amal, wa amal, and uh, this gunna followed by alif. So in uh, in two second gunna followed by alif two second in uh, and wahidatun ha should be manifested from middle of throat, and you have to work hard on a similar sounding letter, especially on ha here. واحدة واحدة كلام حين كلام حين بالبصر صحائد هير. and فعله who has been prolonged longer as as you know needed. it should be one second. you have done two second at least. فعله and again the same mistake في الزبور فَعَلُوهُ فِي الزُّبُرِ And Jannatin Noon, Gunna, followed by uh, vertical Fatha. So Jannatin, Gunna, two seconds. Jannatin, and there was a big mistake here because Maq'adi, Maq'ad is a seat. It means Maq'ad means seat. When you recited Dal with the, a Yai Maddiya, after that, you said, Maqadi, it means my seat. So that will be changed in meaning. So Maqadi Sidhir. Maqadi. Okay. So otherwise you you are recited very well. Now I like to play another last from our male side. And Allah Dita Sab. Haksar Alaita Panu Para Chabis Surah Muhammad. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين كفروا وصدوا عن سبيل الله أزلا ما لهم والذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وآمنوا بما نزل على محمد وهو الحق على محمد وهو الحق من ربهم كفر أنهم سيئاتهم وأصلها وأصلها بآلهم ذلك بأن الذين كفروا اتبعوا الباطل وأن الذين آمنوا اتبعوا الحق من ربهم كذلك يزرب الله للناس أمثالهم فَإِذَا لَقِيتُمُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَزَرْبَ فَزَرْبَ الرِّكَابِ حَتَّى إِذَا أَسْخَرْتُمُهُمْ فَشُدُّ الْوَسَاقِ فَإِمَّا مَنْ Nanbadu wa imma fida an hatta taza al harbu taza al harbu taza al harbu zara zalik 
کوشش کی ہے تلاوت کی آپ کی عمر کے حساب سے آپ نے بہت اچھی تلاوت کی ہے تو یہ دیکھیں اوپر جو میں آپ کی اشارہ کر رہا ہوں کہ ابل امال یا تھوڑا سا آپ نے جھٹکا دینا کہ امال نہ ہو آل اور یہ جو الف ہے جس کو آپ نے لمبا پڑھنا تھا کیونکہ کھڑا تھا زبر ہے اوپر تو ولدین امن امن ولدین امن یہ آپ نے پڑھنا تھا اور یہاں پہ یہ چھوٹی سی میم ہے تو یاد رکھیں کہ یہ جو دو زبر ہے دو زبر کے بعد اگر با ہو تو آپ نے یہ میم کو ہی پڑھنا ہوتا ہے تو من نم بادو یہ میم جو ہے من نم بادو یعنی نون آخر میں نہیں آئے گا میم آئے گا من نم بادو یہ اور دو دفعہ آپ نے یہ غلطی کی ہے کہ ولو شاء اللہ پڑا شاہ اللہ ولو یا شاہ یہ یا جو ہے پھر یہ بات جو ہے وہ واضح ہوتی ہے تو ولو یشا اللہ یا جو ہے آپ نے یہاں پہ چھوڑ دیا تھا تو یہ ولا کلی یا بلو یہ آپ نے دوبارہ اس کو نوٹ کر لیں اپنی غلطیاں اور یہ بھی فلائیں یو دل لو ایسے مجھے لگا کہ آپ نے یا اللہ پڑا ہے تو یو دل لا فلائیں یو دل لا یعنی یا کے اوپر جو ہے یہ پیش ہے یہ آپ نے پڑھ لی اور فتح اصلح یہ غلطی آپ نے ٹھیک کر لی تھی باقی ساری کوئی ایسی غلطی نہیں ہے کہ زیر زبر کوئی لمبا کہیں کیا ہو زیادہ یا جو حروف مدہ الف ہوا یا وہاں پہ اس کو لمبا نہ کیا ہو تو جو آپ کا لیول ون ہے اس حساب سے آپ نے ماشاءاللہ اچھی تلاوت کی ہے اور یہ آج ہماری دیٹ واز آور لاسٹ ریکارڈنگ دیٹ واز پلیڈ ناؤ اینڈ وی کین ناٹ یو نو اٹ از اٹ از امپوسبل ٹو پلے آل دا ریکارڈنگ اونلی only selected whatever that come in the list we we play them but remember each recording each recitation uh, we can learn from it whether male or female we can pick up the points when i highlight the mistakes at the same time you are acting 
uh, as a Quran teacher as well in your own uh, in, uh, circle and you will be picking up the mistakes when I then uh, explain that and then you can reconfirm or confirm that well, this is a mistake why this mistake was done what was the background what was the reason and in the same way if you practice on your daily basis that you do not uh, do that mistake uh, then inshallah gradually we will improve and uh, you know the recording system is very good because you see that if your first recording and after three four recording if you have improved you will feel yourself that we have improved so with that we conclude today's class and inshallah because our system logs you in logs you in and uh, every uh, person is uh, is uh, uh, fully analyzed that how many time how much time he or she was in the class please please remember that whenever you enter the class enter the class with your id okay it is important jazakumullah fasab bahut bahut shukriya allah taala aapke sath ho ji theek hai aapne khud hi apna jo microphone on kar liya hai chalo theek hai aapki awaaz aa gayi hai iska matlab tha ki aap sun rahe the haan ji isliye maine urdu mein bhi kiya tha ki aapko haan ji जाकल्ला फसा वो खत्म कुरान वाली दुआ जो है अल्लाह ताला उससे ये हमारी कमजोरियां जो है ना पर्दा पोशी पर चले ठीक है दुआ में याद रखें अच्छा जी असला वरहमत वरक